Bienvenidos a la clase de matemáticas. I am Coach Anderson, and yes, that was Spanish. Let's go ahead and do a little follow-up on what we just learned in the previous video, where it was about factoring trinomials, where that leading coefficient was 1. Well, again, that leading coefficient meaning the number in front of that variable was 1, and you had a something squared plus something x plus the number, right? A squared, ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, with that said, my math party people, again, let me remind you here, plus c. Now, in this video, we're doing a follow-up because we're going to look at a special case of factoring trinomials. And this special case is called what? It's called factoring perfect square trinomials. Let me show you what that means very briefly. And again, this is just a follow-up from factoring trinomials. So everything I'm going to do is going to make sense, but I'm going to show you just a slight little difference in terms of what you're going to see. That's it. Here we go. So we have m squared minus 24m plus 144. And again, if you didn't watch that previous video, watch it so you can see what I'm about to do. The rule was, again, find the factors of c that add up to b, right? If you watched the previous video, did the worksheet problems, the speed drills, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I'm going to show you what a perfect square trinomial is. It's this. So, what are the factors of 144? Well, the factors of 144 that add up to a negative 24, we got to think about that. Because the factors need to, well, if it, adds up to, if it multiplies to a positive 144, if it multiplies to a positive 144, well, the only way you can multiply to a positive is going to be a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. So remember, the, that factor pair needs to add up to the B term, the negative 24. Can you add two positives to get a negative? No. Can you add two negatives to get a negative? Yes. So we know that both of these factors are going to be negative. And here's what you should notice. When you're looking at the factors of 144, you know, yeah, you got 1 times 144. You got 2 times 72. You've got three times whatever the heck, right? You, you know, you don't have to list out all the factors sometimes. Sometimes you might want to notice that, hey, uh, 144, what do we recognize that from? Ain't that a perfect square? Ain't that 12 times 12? It is, right? Now, we said that they're both going to have to be negative. Is negative 12 plus negative 12 negative 24? It is. So we don't have to do all of this. We can just say, hey, look, 12 times 12 really honestly straight up works. And so what I can say is, again, they both have to be negative. And we can say we have m minus 12 times m minus 12. Again, I'm just following up from the previous video. So I did kind of skip all the factoring and all the stuff. But if you notice that you have a perfect square at the end, like a 144 or 100 or 81 or uh, what's next? 64, 49, right? If you see that you have a perfect square, see if those roots add up to that middle term. And if they do, you have yourself a perfect square trinomial. Because notice this, notice this, negative 12 and negative 12, this is the same stuff. What did we learn? What did we learn on math party people? If we have x times x, that's x squared, right? Remember my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself, see all the mistakes that you've made, and then keep raising your score with those video solutions, organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score. No excuses, it's completely free. So go ahead and click the link there or in the description. That way you can get started, raise your score, and do everything you need to do. Let's ace the ASVAB, but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up. Okay, what if we have 13 times 13? That's 13 squared. Okay, well, what if we have a pineapple times a pineapple? Well, a pineapple times a pineapple, well, that's a pineapple squared, right? And so what is m minus 12 times m minus 12? m minus 12 squared. And that's all this is. That's all this is, my math party people. It is m minus 12 squared. The answer here is d. And all, that's all this short video is about. That is all this short video is about. Making sure that you understand that, hey, if you have you know, factory trinomials and you get the same thing times the same thing, 
that's a perfect square trinomial. And so you can either write it like this or you can write it like this. They're both the same, but I just wanna help you watch out to find the correct answer if it's written in the perfect square form. So let's go through a couple of extra problems here to show you exactly what I mean. So let's go ahead and say we have n squared plus four n plus four. Okay, so if we're looking at this, I notice that again, we have four as the C term. It's a positive four. So either both the factors are gonna be positive or both are gonna be negative. But I also know that four is two times two. Is two plus two, four? Ah, yes, it is. It is, so we have ourselves a perfect square trinomial. So if you wanted to go through it, again, you're gonna get positive with a positive here, so they're both gonna be positive. And we see that we're gonna have one times four. One plus four is not two, or four. But we have two times two, that's gonna work. And so when you write this out, you'll have n plus two times n plus two, which is the same thing as saying n plus two squared. And that is it, my math party people. That is literally it. That's all I'm showing you in this video. Just looking out for perfect square trinomials and really practicing the idea of, again, factoring these trinomials in your head if you can. So up next, here's another one. We have a squared minus 10a plus 25. Okay, let's check it out here. So my final term is positive 25. So I know that I'm factoring positive 25. What I also know is that right here, my B term is negative 10, but it's a negative. So because you're multiplying to a positive 25, it's gonna be either positive times positive or negative times a negative. But once I notice that my B term is negative, they're both gonna have to be negative. And if you notice, guess what? 25 is a perfect square, and if they're both gonna be negative, is negative five times negative five positive 25? Yes is negative five plus negative five, negative 10. Also, yes, I noticed that this is a perfect square trinomial because we have a perfect square at the end whose factors add up to that middle term, but this time they both have to be negative. That's fine. So you just have to make sure you understand that we have a minus five times a minus five, which is the same thing, my math party people, as a minus five all squared. Again, this is a relatively painless video, as long as you've watched the previous one, which was about, again, factoring trinomials. This is just a special case where you have a clean little thing here and you're good, but that's it. C is the answer and we're set. So with that seven math party people, I hope that you enjoyed this video because up next, you're gonna have a worksheet looking at perfect square trinomials, the speed drill with it, and then eventually at the end of this section of the entire module, you'll be able to mix and match the practice so that way you don't know that you're dealing with perfect squares, you might be dealing with something else. And so, with that said, my math party people, hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and let me know what you think. You know I got your back all day. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, get into those worksheets and get into those speed drills. Let's keep raising that score. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.